Join me today as I install the ceiling light in our corner room box. Alright, so if you've been following along on our project here, you've got your building finished, you know, the structure built, you've got your wallpaper and your ceiling paper in. And you'll notice that my wallpaper no longer has any puckering at all once the glue, once that paste completely dried, it was fine. You no longer have any issues then. So, what we need to do is, in, is install our ceiling light this week. This is our ceiling light fix uh, packaging. I'm going to open it up. Let's see if I can get this out of its package without any issues. And let's see. Sometimes you can test these. Yeah, it works. Oops, you guys can't see it. It's a good idea to test your light fixture, and it's working. This is my lead in wire for our transformer. So now. We've got, oops, you guys are here. There's a cord coming out of this. And what I want to do is I want to have this come up and then go up through the ceiling. And I'm going to hide this towards a wall. Obviously, I don't want to put it this direction so that that wire shows. I'm going to put it that way. And almost always in your dollhouse, you can do that. Just look to make sure you're not pointing that wire towards a window. Or, or the open back of your dollhouse or open front, however your dollhouse is built. So the first thing we need to do is we need to poke a hole. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to raise you guys up long enough to poke the hole, and then we'll come back to this position. All right, so we've got the camera up where you can see. Now, I've, I've marked my ceiling where I want the hole. And that's where we're going to poke. Now, if you've got a wooden dollhouse, you're going to need to use a drill bit. Since this is foam core, I'm just going to poke a hole through here. And now we are going to turn everything upside down. When you're working in a dollhouse, a lot of times you're going to need to turn your dollhouse upside down, right side up, upside down, multiple times if possible. I even managed to get that big old Harrison turned upside down a few times. Now. Do I have you guys adjusted? Yeah, there we go. Turn you down. So we've got our hole right there. That's the one we're going to use. My cat decided to walk in here. So I'm going to cut off this wire on our fixture because obviously we can't put this plug through the hole. Now I save these because you can use these to make uh, light fixtures. Save that wire. All right, so we're going to feed the end of our wire through our hole we just made. If it's big enough, we may have to work on it. That's the beauty of foam core. You can work on that. Now, just like with our front porch light, there is a sticky on there, but I don't trust that sticky. I'm going to use that sticky to hold it down until my glue dries. So I want to find, do I have anything to set under there? I put my tiles away. I don't want to push really hard on this foam core because I'm afraid I'll damage it. So I've got my glue. You want a clear drying glue. Hopefully something that will really hold things. And now, to push that down. Now this glue is going to need to dry because we don't want to be working on this until that glue dries. So I'm going to set this aside for a while and let that dry and when it's dry I'll be back and we'll flip this over again and wire it in. All right so hopefully the glue is dry. I think I forgot to mention I'm using the same Beacon 3-in-1 adhesive that I've been using for quite a bit of stuff lately. So let's turn this over and kind of what it was sitting on, and I'm going to have to raise the camera up so you guys can see. 
All right, so we'll try this. I'm having a little issue trying to get you guys oriented so you can see and I can still see. So we have our light, our wire from our light fixture here and we have our tape wire. And we've tested the tape wire before we glued everything in. So now I'm gonna shorten this a little more because I don't need this much. You probably remember when we were doing the front porch light, we need to split the two wires. Be careful so you don't cut yourself, which I do sometimes, it's okay. But it's best not to. Now, any of the methods I showed you in the other video when I did the porch light, you can use for this light. Um, it doesn't matter. So I think, since that one was really easy, we will have access to this. When I put a light fixture on a ceiling, the second floor room, I always carpet because carpet in a dollhouse is not put in permanently. We'll work with that when we get to that step on um, this. So we've peeled the, I've made the wires nice and bare there where we can get to them. And let's see if I can poke a hole. And oops, let's poke a hole back here where it's going to be easier. Now you could do the wrap, you could do any of the methods I showed you. Let's see if I can just do it this way. See if this will work. Of course I'm dropping it. It's one of those days. that I have this wire cut off so it can't come over and contact the other side. And since I have plenty of space here, I'm actually going to wire this one up here. That way there's no way that this bare wire and that bare wire will ever make contact because that's really important. That will short out your lights. If I can get a hold of the grommet. Now you could have wrapped this around like we did the other. I've actually never put a fixture in. The first time I had done this type of wiring was when I was doing the demo a few weeks ago. And this was so simple that... Let's see if this is working. Let's see if this worked. I may have to raise those up and wrap them a little more, but we will see. I will, let's just turn this on its side so I don't have to change you guys around again. Where is my plug? Let's get this on and see if we are working. And it works. We have a light fixture, so we have now installed our ceiling light. Now, I would recommend putting some tape over this. Um, I'll probably actually use a piece of that sticker paper. I liked how that worked. It was very secure feeling. Get those little extra pieces of wire out of there. But cover one and then cover the other. Let's see if I've got, yeah, I've got a piece here. Yep, that's got something on it. Are Let me get a piece of paper, piece of that sticker paper. Any tape or, or thing like that will work. All right, here we go. Little piece of that. This stuff is really handy to have, and you could use like um, just stickers, like the uh, printable address labels or something like that, or the scraps off the edges of that paper. Cover that one. Now all those wires are covered. They won't get bumped loose. And let's get this one.
Yeah, the particular brand of sticker paper I have here for some reason does not want to um, peel. You could also, of course, use any kind of tape, um, electrical tape, a really secure uh, paper tape, um, anything like that. And I'm going to use this to tape this down also, because I don't want anything in the future to catch on that piece of wire and pull on it. If I have it like this, that will protect it from being jostled and being pulled out of those grommets. So we've got our light installed. That's how easy it is to put in the ceiling light. Uh, be sure and check the blog post. Be sure and keep track of me on Facebook. And I will talk to you later. Bye.